A new crisis in Ukraine emerged. How does this tie in with Bible prophecy? Several prophecies tell us that there will be wars and conflicts before and during the final seven years of this age. One of the wars during the seven years is the so-called Gog and Magog War as prophesied in Ezekiel chapter 38 and 39. This prophecy tells us that Russia, Turkey, Iran, several North African countries and other allies will attack Israel. Furthermore, it states, And I will turn thee back, and put hooks into thy jaws, and I will bring thee forth, and all thine army, horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords, and thou shalt say, I will go up to the land of unwalled villages, I will go to them that are at rest, that dwell safely, all of them dwelling without walls, and having neither bars nor gates, to take a spoil, and to take a prey. In other words, there is a certain prey, a bait that the nations want to take from Israel. What this prey could be has only become clear recently. In November 2010, Israel discovered a large natural gas field containing a massive 8.9 trillion cubic feet. By far enough to provide a nation with energy as well as to start exporting gas. And this is where Russia comes in. As currently being the largest natural gas exporter, Israel has become a direct threat. Russia has already reinforced its power in the region by supplying Iran with weapons as well as playing an active role in the Syrian crisis. In March 2013, Israel's first gas delivery took place and production came to maximum capacity between 2015 and 2017. An interesting detail is the name of the first well that was drilled, Leviathan 1. This name is not by accident, it is prophetic. It is the name of a sea creature that we also find in the Bible. In Job 41, verses 1 and 2, it says, Canst thou draw out Leviathan with an hook? Or his tongue with a cord which thou lettest down? Canst thou put an hook into his nose? Or bore his jaw through with a thorn? And also in Ezekiel chapter 29 verses 3 and 4, it says there, Speak, and say, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I am against thee, Pharaoh king of Egypt, the great dragon that leeth in the midst of his rivers, which hath said, My river is mine own, and I have made it for myself. But I will put hooks in thy jaws, and I will cause the fish of thy rivers to stick unto thy scales, and I will bring thee up out of the midst of thy rivers, and all the fish of thy rivers shall stick unto thy scales. Can we not see the direct link with the Ezekiel's prophecy about a Gog-Magog war? The exact same metaphor is used. But now it gets a name, Leviathan. The Leviathan is the bait, the gas fields. And this is where Ukraine comes in. It is the major hub through which Russia transports its gas to Europe. Losing control of it will weaken Russia's position. Already Europe is seeking alternatives to obtaining gas in Israel as an attractive option. Either way, things will turn out. Russia has already understood very well what its Achilles heel is and it is craving for a taste of the bait. Leviathan is also identified in the Bible as a serpent the devil. In Isaiah chapter 27 verse 1 we read, In that day the Lord with his sore and great and strong sword shall punish Leviathan the piercing serpent, even Leviathan that crooked serpent, and he shall slay the dragon that is in the sea.
it is Satan himself, luring the nations to come against Israel and at the same time, fulfilling God's plan. It shows again, how close to the end we are. If you haven't given your life to Jesus yet, do it now. Time is running out. Repent and accept Christ as your only way to be saved.